Hey there everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to use a better snap tool to snap your window and applications uh, of any kind basically to uh, the sides and the top and full screen and stuff on, uh, on Mac OS S just like you can on Windows. So for example, if I have Finder open, I can snap Finder uh, to one side and then go ahead and put another Finder window put on the other side just like that. Or I can make one Finder window the full screen or I can make it quarter screen on any of the corners like so. Um, so basically what you have to do uh, is go ahead and go into the App Store and search uh, Better Snap Tool. Uh, it should be all one word, just search that, go into it, should be the only result. I think it's probably between, uh, yeah, it's, it's okay, so it's uh, $2. Um, and so just go ahead and download that. It's definitely worth the uh, the purchase. It's um, it's four plus, like five stars, as you can see right here. Um, and I would definitely recommend it. You can check out some of these screenshots. Uh, it's got a ton of settings, as you can see here. Um, so I would recommend uh, just getting it. Uh, there is no trial or free version, so it's either all or nothing. Um, and like I said before, you can just do any of these uh, settings, any of the quarter settings. It works for applications as well, like I said. So if you go into something like Terminal, or especially your web browsers, um, something like Safari, Firefox, Chrome, all of those work. If I was to open up Firefox right now, just sort of give it a whirl. Uh, see. I can do it with Firefox as well. Uh, so I can put Firefox and Chrome side by side. I can put two Finder windows side by side if I uh, don't want to have tabs, which like I showed you earlier. Um, so it's really easy to use. Uh, I would definitely recommend getting it. Uh, once you download and install it, it'll A, appear in your applications folder as Better Snap Tool. So let's see, as you can see, Better Snap Tool is right here. Um, and then you can also, oops, so I just used it right there, that was cool. Um, you can also go into your uh, top toolbar menu bar in uh, Mac OS X. Uh, check it out, it's the little checkered looking icon with the arrows on it. Uh, you can just click on that, go to preferences, uh, change any of these things that you want to. I'll just go through these sort of slower. You can pause the video if you want to take a, a quicker look at any of these. So customizations, changing colors, advanced settings, uh, keyboard shortcuts especially. Uh, I haven't done any of those. Um, but I would imagine that it's probably really nice. Um, you can always do custom snap areas. Uh, you can do look at the interrupted video. Uh, any of these extras. Um, and then just sort of about. So thank you, Andreas, for making that. Uh, also, um, if you click in here, you can do the snap areas like it was talking about in the, the, the preferences part on specific settings for current applications. So if I was to open, you know, um, if I was to open Terminal, I could set sp specific settings for applications. So set specific settings for Terminal. I even knows what application is currently on top and open in Mac OS X. Uh, if you try and do it for Finder, uh, then it would say set specific sizes for Finder. Um, so all this is available um, for the full version. Uh, there's no free version, so price $199 on the Mac App Store. Uh, as long as you have an Intel 64-bit processor and Mac OS X 10.6 or later, I would definitely recommend checking it out. Uh, if you like this video and you like the Better Snap tool, uh, please uh, like, comment, subscribe, and also um, support the software on the Mac App Store. Thank you for watching my video, and I'll see you guys next time.